Oh, we in 8 bits or some shit? 16 bit, whatever. May this tale find you in your favor. Oh, we just jumping straight into it, alright? No main menu, no nothing, just straight into the fucking action. That's what I like to see. Just raw dogging this shit. Such a beautiful night. I remember when we used to take walks along this little shore. Taking in the calm rush of the waves, the cool breeze flowing through our hair. Your radiant face glowing ever brighter in the moonlight. Glowing like an angel. I remember meeting you here for the first time, all those years ago. You had fallen over from tripping over a wayward stone in the sand and had begun to cry. Lending a hand to pick you up, it took one look into your eyes for me to realize you were someone special. Though, at the time, I never understood why. Ever since that day, we slowly became the closest of friends, always visiting each other whenever we got the chance. We always played in my backyard or at this very shore during the summer months. Countless games of catching the ball and hopscotch were played between us two. Ah, the glory days of youth, so carefree, so full of life. Twas a simpler time, but you made it all the more special. I remember going to school with you. We always went to the same school, so that meant walking to and from the campus together was common practice. We would always pester our teachers so much that we, that they would have to, that they would have us be sitting apart from one another by the end of the semester. Not that that would ever stop us from having fun, though. Lunchtime and recess were equally hectic and enjoyable. Never had a dull moment in that place. We always helped each other with our studies, or well, tried to anyway. And when the time came to take the next exam, well, we always make sure to make our special hangout time for the day before, just in case. You were always such a huge help to me, especially during the times when the stress became too much to bear. I remember the day I confessed to you. It's a moment I don't think I could ever forget if I wanted to. I recall inviting you over to the Barry Shore where we had spent nearly half of a childhood at. Though the place had barely changed in a decade, it was fair to say we both had a, f we both had a fair bit. We were both in college by then. You were starting to become a veterinarian while I was taking a path towards teaching. The night passed quietly, for the most part. We lay on a tarp, you and the vast array of stars cast across the canvas that was the sky. All that time, I never could take my eyes off of you as you gazed into the heavens. I first begun having feelings for you around high school, when we participated in a school dance. Part of the event had students couple up and do a slow dance, and you, of course, decided to jokingly take me into your arms and dance together. While I was initially disgruntled by this, being able to experience such a moment with you truly opened my eyes to you for the very first time. Never had I gazed at you with such a wondrous new point of view. No one else had cared nor would ever care for me like you had, and neither had nor would I likewise. It was then that I realized that you were the one, the one for me, the only one for me. All of this and more I carefully related to you with a shaky, shaky voice that night. I remember you seemed rather taken aback by all I had to say. At that point, I sighed and was ready to apologize and consider taking my leave. And then you kissed me. That feeling? A feeling of a heart slowly being mended back together 
of the earth singing with sheer joy and rapture, of life itself cheering in victory. What the fuck is going on right now? I've never played Blue Skies. This ain't even Blue Skies. This is just some, like, short mod. It's called The Girl with the Bow. I just figured I'd play right before the beginning of, uh, actually playing Blue Skies. Just at the beginning of this stream. Alright. So this ain't even Blue Skies. You don't have to worry about it yet. I would never experience such a moment ever again. And to this day, I'm honored it was you who would show me it. You were doing a side quest, technically? Yeah, pretty much. A side quest mod. I remember seeing you for our six month anniversary. You looked so beautiful that night. I remember you kept jokingly com commenting on my slowly reddening face. Even though there were some mishaps during our time together, you always made it worth a while. Always made me happy. And that night, when we kissed goodbye and I gazed into your eyes one last time, I felt as though we were on cloud nine, that I had touched the world. And that was the last day I ever saw you. I still can't get that wretched beeping out of my head. Br wretched? Wretched team? Bruh? It's like, only I can make such a heart, you know, heart-wrenching scene like this just, you know, fucking funny. I can't erase the imagery of a hospital bed from my mind. I can't unsee you. Hearing the words that it would be your last, it killed me. All of my heart died that day. Every last shred of it. Even now. As I gaze into the sky in search of the peace it gave you all these years, I find nothing but pain and grief. All that time, and it all ended so soon. I long to bring you here one final time. I dreamed of placing a ring around your finger and making you my bride. I imagined a future where we would be together, forever. Living in peace until the end of our days. Bro, I can never imagine that with Monica. Never, ever. Monica is literally the devil. But, now that day may never be. Not here, at least. If, by some miracle, you hear me, my love. All I can say is... All I can do is say I yearn for you still. I love you. And will always love you like no other. No matter how far away it is, one day I shall join you somewhere, someplace, where a gentle hand waits for mine. Well, eh, that was pretty. Oh, well, I mean, they weren't kidding when they said that was pretty short, but I feel like that was solid. You know, not too much. I liked it, you know. 7 out of 10, and it closed up. I need an anime girl that be fucking with me. A little badass bitch that get down on her knees. Screaming out senpai while she's taking the D. Baby girl, I'ma have you yelling emoji. I need an anime girl that be fucking with me. A little badass bitch that get down on her knees. Screaming out senpai while she's taking the D. Baby girl, I'ma have you yelling emoji.